When describing the life of Monsignor Bienvenu, Victor Hugo tells us that the bishop requires only two things, a little garden to walk in and immensity to reflect on. At his feet, something to cultivate and gather. Above his head, something to study and meditate on. A few flowers on earth and all the stars in heaven. Here, at the Berkshire Botanical Garden, these words struck a great chord of truth for me as I found myself face to face with a very discerning cricket peering out from its lofty perch inside a tubular flower. It immediately occurred to me that here in the botanical world, the flowers had a language of their own, and the dazzling escapades of hidden and not so hidden creatures communicated a perfect reflection of much of what makes us human. In hopes of articulating a floral specimen singular and very brief yet epic tale that I happen upon, I take the inspiration of the moment, the color, the position of the flower. I study the ecosystem that surrounds it. I research its folklore and medicinal properties, and it is there that I begin to paint or sculpt a floral portrait. My work strives to translate the biota's essence into a nouveau Victorian floriography or Hanukatova, a language meant to convey emotions and communicate directly to the viewer without using words. This for me is where an innocent being transforms and an alchemy begins to take hold. The tools I use in my visual expression of the floral culture are watercolor, graphite, color pencil, hand-pressed paper, kiln-cast glass, and pat de verre. In doing so, I hope the work excites and inspires its audience to rediscover the efflorescing beauty already around them, giving the viewer an even more profound sense of wonder and appreciation for the boundless universe found even in the tiniest of gardens. I'm originally from the cinnamon-scented concrete of New York City and now live in the verdant village of East Chatham, New York with my husband, my faithful dog, Fanny Braun, my 40,000 bees, mm, give or take a few, and the grass beneath my feet, and of course, the stars above my head.